That's an interesting build. This guy's got an Iku shield and a griffin. Hey guys, welcome to another video on my channel. In today's video, we are going to be doing another tutorial video with live commentary. So many of you guys have been asking me, uh, you know, how do you use the Fujing? Because uh, it seems like a lot of players are having trouble uh, using the Fujing robot. So the Fujing robot is the spider robot, uh, the one with four legs, uh, the medium. Um, 13,000 workshop points and um, it has three medium uh, weapon slots. So if you take a look at uh, this one here, I have uh, three Tehrans loaded up. As for, uh, you know, why I have Tehrans and uh, the Orkin build, only is because these two are the strongest builds uh, for this bot, um, stronger than the Molots, Punishers, or Tolumbus. And uh, because I'm playing in uh, Champion League, I will be going up against uh, the highest uh, level players uh, out there, most li likely running a lot of Lancelots, Galahads, um, you know, Griffins, Furies, and the likes. So uh, I'm, that's why I'm kind of running the uh, higher damage uh, builds. And then I have a Plasma Griffin and then the Orc Aphid Griffin, just to make a comparison. I may mix uh, these builds up um, for games, maybe two and three. I'll see how it goes. Um, I usually do three games in a row just so that you can get an idea of how they perform in high level play. If they they aren't worth anything, you'll most likely see it within that three games. Okay, so um, before I start here, um, as always, I'll be doing uh, this just so that you can see that everything is max level. And uh, I am in Champion League uh, 1, it says. Okay, so I'm going to be uh, running a couple games, as I said, um, three games. I'm going to try to do that because it gives a pretty good gauge of how the robots can perform. Hopefully we can land in on uh, smaller and larger maps as well. So something like Dead City, uh, maybe Power Plant, Canyon, or a Winter Map, Springfield. And we'll see how well uh, we do as far as uh, damage goes and just like moving around the map. And I'll also explain to you, so, okay, so we're on a larger map here. This is actually a good example, so we can see how well this performs and uh, also how to use this bot. So I'm uh, taking a look to see what my opponents are dropping in. I see a Carnage there, um, a Pattern, and they have a Galahad. So I'm going to run with the um, the Tehran first, and the reason why is because I saw there was a Carnage there, and Tehrans go through um, the Energy Shield, which the Carnage has. So I'm going to try to explain this as best as I can. So when it comes to the Fujing robot, because it is such a vulnerable bot, I mean, you have 135,000 HP when fully maxed out. Um, this bot, as you can see, doesn't really move that fast. And when you do use sentry, uh, your sentry mode, it locks you down. So you are very vulnerable. So it's actually best to kind of stick to uh, cover as much as possible. So that's why I'm moving uh, more to the right side, just so that I have that cover. And uh, also when I use this bot, I also try to see what uh, my opponents are running. So like the Thunder, I know that the Sentry Shield can block the Thunder. And then I look to see if this guy here has got Plasma. I don't block, I don't put my shield up. Oh wait, he's got Orkins. Okay, if he's got Orkins, then you want to put that shield up. So if they have Rockets, you know that your shield can block Rockets. Uh, if they've got uh, Trans or Magnums, you want to be able to move around because... Uh, Oh, that guy is pretty far there. I'm going to put the shield up again because, like I said, I know that he has uh, Orkins. I'm actually going to move here because there's a guy coming in with a Carnage. I'm going to go into a Sentry again just so that I can block. As you can see, when I'm going into Sentry, my shield is starting to regenerate. I'm trying to hit this guy as much as possible. Okay, there we go. So the thing is, um, you know how... Badly I got hit with the Orkins and uh, the Thunder earlier on, dealing with those two. So what I want to do now is, I want to find cover and then I want to go into Sentry mode. So if you look at the top left corner, you'll see my health 89,945. There's a blue bar, so it's starting to regenerate. And it can only regenerate uh, when you're in Sentry mode. And you, you need to do this because um, in my next in engagement uh, with this guy coming to the right of me, uh, if I drop my sentry shield now, when I engage and I put it back up, then I won't be able to watch this. See, my shield isn't fully charged, so that's why you want to try do that. I'm going to try hit this guy as much as I can. He's going to be charging me, but I'm going to have to uh, back up here because eventually he's going to hit me with plasma. So if you see the, the player has plasma, you want to uh, Q 
keep your shield down because plasma goes all the way through uh, the the uh, sentry shield. Okay, so if it's an energy shield, plasma such as Tyrants or Magnums will go through. So uh, if you see the uh, the other player has that, your opponent, the best thing to do is to actually not go into a sentry mode. If they have uh, Orkins and Panatas or, uh, you know, like Molots or Punishers, then you want to go into sentry mode because you know you can block that. So for example, uh, this player here that's in the Fury, I saw that he has Trident, so if he fires at me, I will go into sentry mode because I know I can block that weapon. If it's a rocket or a missile, uh, you can block um, with your uh, sentry shield. This guy over here, he has Tehran, so now I know that if I engage him, I must not keep my uh, shield up because if I do, I'm a I'm not a moving target. I'm <laughs> still okay. So I'm going to engage him here. I'm going to move sideways just so that you know if he does fire at me, it will be harder for him to actually hit. Trying to see if I can get this uh, on this guy here. Well, that's an interesting build. This guy's got an EP shield on a griffin. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'd run that. It's not a very good build. Oh, shoot. I'm gonna wait until my um, I'm gonna wait until my Orkins are charged a little bit more here, and then I'll hit this guy because I know he doesn't have a shield now. So I'll hit him, and I'll move in to position. So uh, this is the Fury here, and I know the Fury. I'm just gonna lock down because I'm not sure who here has actually wait. You know what? He's uh, his Ansel shield got knocked down, so I'm gonna drop my shield here and see if I can hit him. I'm gonna go into a Sentry mode just because the other guy on the right side of me has, um, I believe, Tridents. I'm gonna drop now because I'm getting hit by. Uh, Plasma. Plasma will go all the way through. We'll see. Maybe I don't even need to. Uh, maybe I don't even need to run the three games. What I will actually do is, I think I will uh, mix up the builds uh, with the next game, just so that you can see how I use the uh, the bot, because it really depends on what weapons you are using uh, on the Fujing. So, for example, all my weapons um, with the Tehran, for example. It has a range of 350 meters. Uh, with Orkins, it has uh, 300 meters. I'm trying to move up here on the side. Again, you want to try to stick to cover. I see uh, that person there has an RDB, it looks like it. So I want to make sure that I keep an eye on him because I can block that from him. This one I can't block so because he has plasma. So I want to move from side to side. So that, you know, I'm a harder target to uh, hit. So you see how he's missing some of his shots? It's because I'm moving. So that's why you want to keep on moving. And uh, you can't move if you're in uh, sentry mode. So that's why I don't do that. I've got to be careful because there's a uh, carnage there. I might have to target him first, actually. I'm going to target him first because he's a very big threat to me. Trying to move um, as much as I can. Um, this one guy here is in a carnage. Uh, he's in a carnage thunder, so I got to be careful of him. I think if he comes around the corner, I will have to. Uh, let's see if I can hit this guy. I need to break the, through that shield of his. It is broken now. Yeah, I got taken out. You can see that uh, you know these with a lot of plasma being used in high-level play, it's actually uh, quite hard to use the Fujing. But I'm gonna try my best here. Let's see if I can hit this guy. I think I should have actually fired um, those as single shots there. Oh look, we've got a uh, Jesse in front of us. Don't see that too often. The JC actually works really uh, well with the uh, aphids. I 
I just realized we only have four players here. I think I'm going to have to move across to the uh, other side. Um, we're going to get the center here. I'm not sure how long that's going to last for. I'm going to move a little bit to the side here because in case uh, my teammates will need the help to take this uh, guy out. I'm going to get hit by a plasma. So I'm going to wait until I drop first and then I'll hit him. Okay, I'm going to use my uh, plasma griff now. See if I can uh, deal with these guys. If I can break through his shield, that would be good. I'm actually going to go see if I can use this pillar. I'm still on reload right now. Two, one, and then I'll hit him. Need to uh, get behind this uh, boulder thing here. I got stuck. I'm not gonna make it. Okay, it looks like we're gonna lose this one. Um, we seem short-handed though. I don't know what happened there. Close game though. So just wait for this set uh, to finish. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run different uh, setups. I think on my uh, Fujing, just so that you can see how I play it, because it really does depend on um, what weapons you have on those bots. No, it looks like um, our team did get mecked out. It just seems like we uh, we were short-handed. That was strange. Uh, let's take a look at the other team first, just so that we can see what we're dealing with. He has a level 12. He's very close to being maxed out. Yeah, a lot of 11 and 12. So we're the matchmaking is uh, pretty pretty good. Got some nine. It's more the weapons that do the damage, not so much the robots. And I've been noticing um, a lot of players been running lower level robots. I think it has to do with the uh, silver that they're earning. This player here is uh, fully maxed. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to be uh, switching things up. And I will run. I think I'm going to run to Lambus on one, just so that you can see kind of how I play different builds. Just uh, switch to to Lumbus here. And I'm trying to decide what if I should run. I'm gonna run the Orkins. I think I'll run Molots or maybe I should run Punishers on you. I don't know if I have my Punishers. Let's see how many do I have? One. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna use uh, Molots. The way you play with the uh, Punishes is very similar to the way you'll run with the Talambus because the range is the same. Um, Molots is a little bit different because with Molots you have the 800 meter range. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. And uh, let's just go to the profile here so you can see that everything is max level. Okay. And then we will uh, run another game. Uh, if the uh, if we get some pretty good footage here, then I think that will be enough to show you guys how to basically play uh, these these bots. Um, it really depends on the map too sometimes. So for example, I, I might run Molots first here, but because this map is a very close range map with a lot of cover, in order to do damage with Molots, you have to really be out in the open. And uh, I guess the only place that's really out in the open is maybe on top of uh, here, perhaps. I mean, you need a lot. You need a lot of uh, that range, but the chances are I'm probably just gonna go. I'm probably gonna go all the way uh, to this side and just fire maybe from the left side, perhaps. Again, you have to be. Um, you have to also be mindful of. Uh, 
So this guy here has 350 meter range on me. Um, it doesn't make any sense for me to once again put my shield up because remember his plasma is going to go all the way through so that's why I, I didn't put it up. Got a guy hiding there. There's another. I'm not sure what this guy is in. I think he's in a fast spot. I could be wrong. Remember, he's got plasma, so you want to move from side to side so that be, you become a harder target. You'll notice some of his plasma is like missing as well, so that's what you want. Got to hide. Yeah, I think this bot's pretty much uh, done here. Just remember, you want to move from side to side. Now I'm going to try with Lumbus because I know these uh, these guys are in uh, Galahad and Garrus. They have physical shields and they are vulnerable to a splash. So if I hit them with these uh, to Lumbus, the chances are they're going to take uh, significant damage. I'm going to fire at him. That guy's almost out. I'm gonna go into a. I tried to go into a sentry mode. Uh, my aiming was off there, though. I tried to go into sentry mode just so that I could raise the uh, Fujing to shoot above that uh, little ridge there. These guys have uh, four beacons on this. This is going to be a very quick game, so I may run another one after this. Hopefully, we ran land in on a, a bit of a bigger map because this isn't really suited. Oh jeez, I'm surprised I didn't kill him. How did he survive that? I'm gonna see if I can try to shoot one weapon. Um, it's very hard to do on a on an iPhone though. Just using cover here. Let's see if I can do that. There we go. You got taken out. We got a uh, Galahad. I'm trying to move because if I lock down this person on the uh, left side here is going to be taking me out. But I'm trying to hit this this one here. So you can see how I'm using my terrain and you know the way that I play the bots are very different to It, a lot depends on what weapons you are running. Um, it depends on, and the reason why I say that is because it, it dictates how aggressive you need to be. So, for example, with the Telambus build, you don't really want to be too aggressive because your reload time is too long, and it's really more for medium range. This guy shouldn't uh, get in my way here because I'm going to need to get that splash on him. I got some splash on him. There we go. This game's going to be over though. They've got four beacons on us. Um, this player is going to have to uh, run. See, these guys have Talambus and pins. So when I see those pins flying, I'm going to go into sentry mode. Here we go. Sentry mode. Block. I'm just going to stay in this... Uh, because I can block their pins, so that's what I want to do. They're going to keep on firing, but I'm able to block them, so it's I'm not too concerned. I don't want to get out of sentry yet, because I know those pins are going to be uh, keep on firing at me. I'm going to I'm going to focus the weakest one now first. Well, that looks like that's game. So hopefully you can kind of see where I'm going at um, in terms of like how I'm playing these bots. You don't do a lot of damage, but again, um, if you take a look at what weapons I was running, um, it's not really suited for the moon map. 
Um, the moon map tends to be more of a brawler map. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to run another game. And uh, hopefully we can land in on a slightly bigger map that's a little bit more open. Something like a Canyon or Yamantau map or uh, maybe even Springfield. So uh, basically, depending on what weapon you have, um, it dictates how aggressive you need to be. But it also dictates where you need to be on the map. So, so for example, uh, Tolumbus on the moon map, you want to kind of... You want to play the map where there's more open spaces, if that makes any sense. Um, you don't want to go into an area where it's very enclosed because uh, if you run into something like a um, a landslot with uh, Thunder Orkins, you'll be able to hit them initially, but then you will be a sitting duck because you can't fire until uh, you have um, that 18 seconds uh, reloaded or whatever it is. So what I might do is, uh, because I see we have a few land slots here, what I may do is, um, depending on the direction they take, I may follow them just so that I could wear down some uh, Ancelot shields and then maybe even help. Just trying to see where these guys are going. I think I'm going to go left. I might be able to use this guy's uh, Ancel shield as well. And then he can use my sentry shield. But yeah, you don't want to be too aggressive with this build. Uh, when it comes to uh, Molots, you want to actually keep your, your distance. But because this map is such a... It's a very short range map. I think that's the best way to put it. So I can't really be too aggressive here. I'm trying to fire at that guy more just to keep him back. But I'm going to have to deal with this one here. Or at this guy. I'm just going to move towards the center here. I think we have someone capturing it down below. guys are pretty close so you see how he has a thunder now I'm actually gonna put this up because I saw the thunder there I think that was Orkins or whatever that he had so I'm gonna try keep on shooting him up there's a guy that actually jumped up here so I'm gonna make sure that I move to cover a little bit more and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into a sentry mode because as you can see my sentry shield isn't fully uh, charged up so I'm gonna let it uh, regenerate until it's full and then I will drop it. I'm just taking a look to see who's around me. Okay, because this guy's pretty close here. What is he in? He's in a no, oh, he's in a griffin. Okay, so I'm gonna back up a little bit because he has range of uh, 300 meters or 350 with the aphids. I'm gonna back up a little bit. I'm not sure what this one's in. We have quite a lot of players moving in on this left side here and they're moving really fast. So I've got to be careful now because there's going to be a flank coming and I'm most likely going to be uh, taken out because these guys are probably going to have some... Uh, they're going to have some uh, range on me. <laughs> See here, we got the plasmas. There's actually no ways that I could... I could go into a sentry here, but uh, because he has plasma, it's going to go all the way through my shield anyways. This is why I say, you know, you can't be too aggressive with this bot. But on a map like this, you are kind of forced to... Uh, be aggressive because you don't really have a choice. Um, the same with the uh, the bot that I'm running right now. So with the Talambus, I know it's um, a rocket or missile weapon. So what I want to do is I want to target uh, players that have perhaps physical shields. So like uh, Garrus, uh, Galahads, uh, Rhinos, Lancelots. You can target, but the Lancelot you can only target if you they don't have an uh, Ansel shield. If they have the Ansel shield. The uh, answer will actually block all three Columbus and you'll do uh, zero damage to them. See, looks like we're uh, outnumbered here. This guy doesn't have a shield. See those aphids? That's why I went into a... I've got a drop. They've got, a, they've got plasma and stuff back there. I'm going to go into a sentry again. They have a guy with Dawkins. He's probably going to be uh, jumping up here. Just waiting for uh, my Talambus to load up. 
So you see how I can't really be aggressive with that? Um, it's just because I'm going to clear these guys out from my uh, spawn area here. I was actually going to spawn in my Fujing, but uh, when there were so many players uh, within range, I decided to actually run my Plasma Griffin first to clear out the area. And then if I die, I will spawn in the, uh, the Fujing again. They actually have a couple of guys here. I'm going to see what I can do about this. They have another one that looks like he's... Uh, just trying to see if I can tilt my bot a bit to see what this guy is in. He's in a Thunder Orkin, so I gotta back away from this war here. What is uh, this guy in? There's a, another player here too. I'm just waiting for my jump in case I need to... Uh... Trying to use my cover as much as possible. Yeah, I got hit really bad here. I've got to be careful because I've got Orkins. And one guy's got Orkins, the other one's got Orkins and Thunder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump to the side, see if I can try to take him out first. And I'll hit this other guy. Okay, so now we have... Um, I think this game's almost over. Let me, let me run my uh, Fujing here. Um, this player down below, okay, so he has an Ansel. So the downside now with running uh, the Fuging Orkin is that I actually have to uh, break through that Ansel shield first before I am able to do any damage uh, to this guy because his uh, Ansel is going to be blocking. There's a guy to the uh, right side here, but there's also someone coming down through uh, this tunnel here. I've got to hit. I've got to hit someone. <laughs> He doesn't have a shield, so I, I targeted him first. But can you see how he's doing damage to me because of those uh, that plasma weapon? You've got to be careful because there's another guy now. So I'm going to go into a uh, sentry mode to see if I can protect the fury a bit. He should actually stay near me. I can use my uh, sentry shield to uh, block some of those uh, thunders. Although he's going to get taken out yet. Okay. So you can kind of see how I how I played uh, each of those bots. It really depends on it depends on the weapons that you are running, and that dictates how aggressive you need to be. But also keep in mind that uh, when you are using the uh, Fujing, you have to always constantly look to see what your opponents are running. So for example, uh, if the enemy is running uh, like a plasma griffin, and you're in a Fujing, you do not want to keep your uh, sentry shield up because uh, first of all. You aren't going to be a moving target to them. Uh, you're going to be an easy target. So all they need to do is just basically circle around you and uh, fire at you. Whereas uh, you are going to be taking all that damage even if you have your shield up. Uh, if they are in something like a uh, death button griffin. So a griffin with uh, you know orcan penatas or orcan aphids and you are in a fujing. Then you want to put up your shield because your shield can block um, you know rockets and missiles. So that's why you would use that. So it really depends on what weapon your opponent has. Um, if they have plasma, you want to keep your shield down and you want to move um, left or right or like in circular motions just so that um, it, you are you make it harder for the enemy to hit you. So that's kind of how I would do that. Um, again, um, if you're running something like Molots or uh, Talambus and you are on a larger map, um, you have to keep your distance. Um, always know... Your weapon ranges so if it's like molots 800 meters so i would stick maybe between 600 and uh, 800 meters depending on what the enemy has uh, obviously if they have tridents and you want to stick like maybe seven eight hundred meters away and uh yeah that i think that pretty much uh, covers it um i don't know what else to really uh, add to it um you always i mean you have to also be uh, mindful of what your uh, teammates are running to um if you're going up a ramp for example um don't try to to outrun them um, let your teammates pass through because they are going to have trouble passing through um, because the legs of the uh, Fujing are spread they like spread out so they will block uh, the path of your teammates always be aware of that 
um, if your uh, teammate, so for example, the last game, you know, there were few Fury Tridents and we were being attacked by a Carnage Thunder. Um, in that case, go into Sentry mode and then your teammates can use your Sentry Shield and uh, take out, uh, you know, the Carnage Thunder, whatever it is, that um, immediate threat. So um, that's kind of what I would do. But uh, I think that about wraps it up. Uh, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you haven't yet subscribed, please do subscribe. And I guess until the next video, I'll catch you guys later.